Hello. We get our own castle today. And guess what? Gilbert Grape's not dead. We just created a time paradox. Well, I didn't do any grinding, but uh, I just made sure that the guy didn't die. Yeah, but don't. But we will be doing some grinding in this episode today, a little bit. <laughs> no. Uh. Yeah. No. Because you honestly think that somebody like Frieza will come down and bring you to the rapture? Or... It makes no lick of sense. Huh. <laughs> Man. Let's see. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, I got the discords. Yeah. Brain just scooping. Yeah. But yeah, we're at this place called the Cave of the Wind, and if you remember the weapon that we used to defeat that vampire who has the really crappy name in this game, aka Necklord, it was the Star Dragon Sword. Um, so uh, after the events of the first game, Victor brought the sword inside this cave, which is called the Cave of the Wind, or Cave of the Wind, and it's uh, wait, and it's waiting for its master to come pick him back up. So. Lo and behold, yes, we are going to get that sword once again. Hmm, really? How dare you do something bad, Microsoft? I mean, Phil Spencer, we thought you were for the gamer. No, thank you.
I wanted to go this way real quick because I need to pick up an item that's over here. Yes. Having a fun time killing these minotaurs. Wait, what? Please continue. Please continue. <laughs> if you're thinking who I think, if you're if you're talking about who I think you're talking about, then yeah, woof. I wouldn't want to touch that guy with the ten foot pole. Oh, God. Well, he shouldn't have been drunk on that plane ride when he was going to Europe. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because that was my, that. Okay, well, that's good, because. Because I honestly thought you were talking about the nature boy. Space Mountain. Oh, okay. Our good buddy. All the way from the country up north. So how's everybody doing today? Very good. Uh, I think so, as long as they're, uh, you know, as long as they're, you know, on PC, which can be played on a Mac. But if not, then on your laptop, then yeah, that, yeah, then yeah, you should be able to on your laptop. Uh, me, uh, my weekend's been fine, except for, uh, Amazon Prime being a really, uh, crappy service right now because of them not uh delivering to me my uh legend of zelda game and watch uh device w which came out yesterday thing is is that um when i when i ordered the device and they said that it was delivered it wasn't actually delivered it says that uh it it was delivered to a it was delivered to a resident, but the truth is it might have got misscanned by accident. There you go. So yeah, um, the Cave of the Wind. This is a place where we we will be coming back to near the end of the game when we have to recruit somebody into our army. Not going to say who, but let's just say that one of the 108 Stars of Destiny is going to be in this cave near the end of the game. Oh, the Blue Gate Crystal. Uh, the Blue Gate Crystal, that is a very good rune to have, but you got to make sure that... Uh, your character has an opening available slot in your three rune slots for for where you can actually equip the runes on, because the only way you're going to be able to use this rune is if you equip it on their head. And you won't be able to get access to that appendage that can use a rune until you're either at level 35 or level 40. So we still got some time before we actually hit that threshold. Um, 
Well, it says it is available day one on Game Pass, so I would assume so. So, yeah, I mean, if uh, if you can use it on your PC and you get access to Forza Horizon 5, then by all means, go for it. Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I do need to get it. I, I probably might get it on uh, PS4 at some point. I mean, it should be dirt cheap to buy it, like when it's when there's a sale or something that goes on. Mm-hmm. Wonder where everybody's at. Because, uh, I mean, I can understand why they might uh, be away uh, for right now. It's because they're probably getting ready for AW Full Gear tonight on pay-per-view. Who are you and what are you doing hanging around here? We get inter introduced by this. We get, we get inter introduced to this guy who goes by the name of Khan. Not the same type of Khan from Star Trek, but one who. But one who has a uh, very, uh, very similar yet exact same grudge or exact same motivation of revenge as Victor does. He is also after Necklord. He says he was waiting for you. Victor, how do you know my name? Are you one of Nick Lord's slaves? If you are, tell that son of a bitch he has a really bad name. Don't get so excited. I understand. <laughs> I understand your feelings, though. <laughs> yeah, he has a pretty shitty name. Nick Lord, you're not. Oh, I was just reading the text. You can go ahead and uh, say something. So here's here's the reason why we the neck the here's the reason why Necklord came back the the one who we thought we actually took down in the first game is it because he's actually using a doppelganger secret meaning he can make a double of himself so the one we actually defeated was just only a shadow it wasn't the real one. So, yep, we just got, we just got, uh, we just got seen about in the first game, uh, intelligently by that guy. Uh, Corp? Yes, and I saw that on, um, uh, yeah, I saw that on Silicon Era when they announced that the, uh, pre that when the pre-orders were going to open for that, which I, yeah. 
idea. So, yes. Did you say abandoned? Talk about ungrateful. I figured you'd appreciate the quiet and solitude, that's all. The sword is talking, and Victor even called him pal. Stupid girl. I am an... Stupid girl. I'm an incarnation of the Night Rune. I'm not pals with him or anyone else. This man is nothing more than my servant. What did you say, you rusty old piece of scrap metal? Who did you call a servant? How dare you tell me to be quiet? Shut up! You make my head hurt with your constant moaning and complaining. Huh? Hey, hey! W wait a minute! Too late. You pissed off the sword, Victor. Uh-oh. Looks like he's really mad. Everyone, grab your weapons. Now I'll show you! So yeah, the Star Dragon Sword is a boss in this game this time. And yeah, that's that is funny, and that is one huge ass sword that this blade is for a boss. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's just a common trope for Japanese RPGs where the boss sprites are supposed to be like five or ten times larger. Yeah. <laughs> but this boss really isn't all that bad. Or I should rather say he's not all that dangerous. Even though he does pack a punch, but he's really easy to take down. Mm hmm. But he is one of those bosses that will attack twice. I hate it. Now, this, um, the spell I'm using for Rio, it's actually very good for a healing spell because not only can you heal a bunch of uh, hit points for your characters, but some of them can actually get in Berserk status. And all of us get in Berserk status. And you want to make sure that some of you, most, most, if not all of your characters are in ber Berserk status because that will actually increase their attack strength. Mm hmm. It's pretty useful. Yeah. <laughs> Just showing this guy that we don't screw around whatsoever. But yeah, that but yeah, that spell's pretty handy. It's what will help you get through most of this game. That's why I say that the Bright Shield rune is probably one of the most useful true runes that you would ever see. Mm-hmm. Now, granted that anti-magic doesn't work on all the spells. It just only works once for every character. And it shrunk. And when we shrunk the sword, that means we actually won that fight. Yeah. You, you feeling better? Don't get so mad, okay? What? Once I get this mad, I fight until my enemies are routed. Yikes, okay, okay, I'm really sorry. Forgive me, great God. Please forgo your vengeance, O oh Star Dragon Sword. Hmm. Very well. But tell me, servant, why did you come back here? Necklord is still alive. Or since he's a vampire, perhaps I should say, quote-unquote, dead. Anyway. He's back. 
You mean that nasty vampire? I thought I disposed of him. Necklord is using his doppelganger secret. In other words, he's a vampire with a powerful rune. Can't be that little bloodsucker. If that's true, perhaps I'll go with you. Come on, pal. Do it for old time's sake. I mean, please, I beg of you. Very well, then. Okay, we're ready. Normal attacks don't work on Necklord, but if we can seal his power... But if, but if we can seal his power with this thing... Thing? Golly! <laughs> Victor, very crassy with that sword, aren't you? I, uh... Oh, hey, Lord Doom! I, uh... That is, if we can seal his power by using the power of the Great Star Dragon Sword, perhaps we can beat him. Ha ha ha. Well, now that we're friends again, let's go back to North Window. It's time to do my job. So yeah, now that we got the sword back, it's time for us to see if we can actually try to take down that vampire. But first things first, I'm going to go heal our party real quick. So we're going to make a trip back to... We're going to be going back to... We're going to be going back to Couscous to sleep real quick. Oh, okay. Oh, speaking of Metal Gear Solid, did you hear that uh, the uh, Metal Gear Solid games got delisted for from the digital storefronts this week? Yes. But can we be a... But here's the question, though. Will are they willing to actually do that, or mm-hmm? Yeah. Oh, um, Lord Doom, there, there is game audio, but, um, wait a minute. Uh, wait, wait, what? Uh, oh my god, are you really, are, are you kidding me, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, there, there's no audio, yep. There's oh, no game audio. Christ. Okay. What happened? Yeah. Streamlabs? Oh, that's why I uh, didn't pick up the audio. Yeah. Or uh, thank you for bringing that up, Lord Doom. Yeah. I honestly thought that there was or that there was audio that was coming out of uh, the thing, but uh, God damn it, it always happens. Well, you know, the more 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 times that this happens, it just makes me want to get like uh, explit. Yep, yep, I hear the game now. x cool. huh? How much is that for the pro version? Ah, uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. But I heard it's like $200 if you just buy the full license. You know, like the long-lasting license that won't ever go away. What I have to think, I have to think about month to month. That's, that's how much Final Draft costs, which is something else I want. Or do said no problem, it's all good now. Yeah. Maybe that's why we. Yeah, we're scared. talking about Metal Gear stuff because we we're talking about what happened in our weeks. And I was mentioning I just have pre-orders, and Metal's mentioning he has Metal Gear Ray or Rex. 
Rex. It's, it's Rex. Yeah, they're reissuing Rex in April. Good old Kotobukiya. Kotobukiya made some like rare Super Robot War. Uh... They did, yeah. I'm trying to, yeah, because Kotobukiya has actually done a lot of model kit lines, but obviously, kind of Banda is seen as the big dog. But yeah, Kotobukiya has put out a lot of stuff. Like they put out some of the Metarot stuff, obviously Metal Gear. They put some stuff out for like Ace Combat, if I remember right. Mm-hmm. Because uh. And, mm -hmm. and now Super Robot Wars are being treated just like I said I wanted to happen, which is just make it just make a line that's called HGSRW. And that's exactly what they did. That's, yeah, exactly. That's basically what <laughs> you're doing. Like, all right, finally. Yeah, putting Good. out all the, uh, yeah, the old, the putting out all the, all the OG, you know, the original generation suits and everything. Yeah. Now I, so, yeah, cool. How ironic. Oh, and he has a SH figure arts Goku black ship still waiting on my real grade high noon. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nice. I, I need to ship my Gogeta and uh, double X gun. I still haven't even built my Cybuster yet. I just built the head so far. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think it's that difficult at all. It's just a high grade. I just haven't mm -hmm. given myself the time to just sit and build it. <laughs> Go. I saw that name. Alright. Now we're inside the room where that dumb vampire is. <laughs> I like Lord Doom's comment. I wanted to forge a Star Dragon Sword, but it wouldn't talk to me. What's the point of having the sword if it can't talk? Mm -hmm. True. True enough. I've been waiting for you, Victor, Star Dragon Sword, hey, and me. Eh? Is that the Marley boy? I'm so glad you could come. Between the Star Dragon Sword and the Vampire... Between the Star Dragon Sword and the Vampire Hunting Secrets of the Marley family, your time is running out, Vampire. That's right. Get ready to die. Wait. Don't be in such a rush. Of course, I understand that. But I have my own ideas as well. That's why I summoned you. I have someone that I'd like you to meet. <laughs> Lord Doom says, His rune is pretty sick. Immunity to physical and magical damage is pretty broken. Yeah, it is. So, what do you think? Feeling nostalgic? Her name is Daisy, isn't it? Bastard. Oh, no. Well, do you give up? Just hand the Star Dragon Sword to me. And I'll let you have the girl, okay? V Victor? Daisy. All right. Welcome to the audio drama. Yes. <laughs> Victor, if we lose the Night Rune, we'll never be able to defeat Necklord. <laughs> Victor, help me. What's wrong with you? Hand that sword over to me! Star Dragon Sword. Do whatever you like. A lot of years have passed since then. It was so long ago that I can barely even remember her face. Okay, listen to me, bloodsucker. I know that once a person is dead, they're gone forever. Victor here isn't stupid enough to be fooled by your little drama. Oh, ho, ho. he's seeing about that lady. Damn. Look at that. Kablamazoid. Dang, that's, metal. that's, that's Helsing style, too, where they turn to dust. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, pal. Watch what you call me. Based. Let's go, Rio. We've got to destroy him. That was based. Yeah. Now the cops are coming from for killing a girl. Yes. <laughs> you. Well, anyway, we've got bigger things to worry about, so... Wait a minute. Look where it says the words, I'm sorry. 
There are two apostrophes I, in yeah, the word. Yeah. I'm. Yep. I. There's two. I. I'm sorry. That's what it says there. I. I'm sorry. <laughs> I. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then Victor just swears with a bunch of uh, symbols. He'll be back, Victor. He literally pulled a Yosemite Sam there. That's what I'm expecting. Like. <laughs> Explainive, Lord Doom says. But yes, um, coming inside this room, it wouldn't be a uh, it wouldn't be a final entry of a dungeon without a boss, right? So, yes, we're fighting this big huge oh, spider, fighting this big huge spider called Abomination. Spider man. Spider man. Hey, spider. And Leo Parda, 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 A spider with five heads. Look at that. Well, but you gotta that's, admit, that's that animation good. looks pretty good on that spider. And just like the Star Dragon Sword, this boss can attack twice. It looks more like an uh, unholy uh, fusion of... Uh... Cursed souls, but is he caught a spider? Yeah. Seems like something that would have that would come out of a Souls game, that type of spider. But then again, yeah. is it re is it really a spider? It only has four legs instead of eight. I guess you could say it's well, half a spider. It's not a spider. Uh, yeah, I would say it's yeah, half it's a spider. A, so it's a durr then. Yeah. <laughs> A dur or it's not a spy. A spider, it's just a dur. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a spy, but I prefer dur. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I usually want to say it so you can say dur. Look at this. Dur. Dur. Yeah, it's, it's, exactly. Josh. Oh, God. <laughs> Lord Doom said that um, his wife thought that uh, that picture of Geralt he put in memes in our Discord, that he edited that. And he is like, no, he, he did not the smile onto the sword. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the smile's like, Geralt, Brown, the sword, smile. Yay! Like, this, the, the sword is literally the XD emoticon. Like. <laughs> <laughs> also, speaking, speaking of memes, you saw all that weirdness with the act. That's actual screenshots from Grand Theft Auto uh, Trilogy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Some people are already calling it the cyberpunk of 2021. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, I just yeah. saw it. Yeah, doing, they are. Yeah, yeah, they did. For real. And I don't, don't know what... Like, by what I'm seeing, because, again, I don't actually have it, because let's, let's just say I have the games a few different ways. I yeah. have the... Yeah, yeah, me too. I... Like I have the, the old, like the like the normal PC versions through Steam, as well as you know uh, console like like PS2 versions and stuff like that. So I like like it, it's kind of one of those weird things where, in some ways, like the the definitive edition looks amazing. Like the world, like uh, like the environment. Actual environment. Yep. The world. Yeah, they, the environment like, looks they, great. They look, they look amazing. Yeah, but the models, Jesus, like. Things like the weather effects look like busted, especially rain. Like the models look goddamn horrible. And the frame rate's not even that smooth. Frame rate, yes. frame rate. I they, saw people. Say, yeah. Uh, like we were talking about last night, um, they had to remove, you know, some of the best songs out of all three of the games because of expiring licenses. Yet, at least in the case of San Andreas. The songs are still in the files. They're just not being played. Yep. And, oh, Lord. Like, there are good things about it, like the GTA V style controls, which, mm -hmm. you know, are a lot better than the older, clunkier controls. But then again, in this day and age, you could just get a mod for that shit, so. Oh, yeah. Because, like, 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 three Vice City, especially San Andreas, there's, like, a huge modding community. For basically That's any true. GTA game, but especially San Andreas, there's like a massive um, modding community mm -hmm. that yep. can easily just add in like a lot of this shit, like like the controls and everything else, and just make it look 
cherry. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm in a position where, yeah, it's I, uh, I, 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 where uh, you basically can't play any of Rockstar's games on PC because the launcher's busted, and mm-hmm. they uh, had to outright pull the the definitive trilogy from from their launcher because uh because yeah it, it's shit and apparently uh, just like Cyberpunk, it's apparently getting a tidal wave of refund requests. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, Rockstar. Lord, oh, Doom, uh, Lord Doom said, good God, what was that? Oh, if you're talking about that noise. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know why it does that, but uh, but the thing is that I'm playing this uh, via the P- PS1 emulation because I do have a original copy of the game, but the reason why it's emulated is because I'm playing the patch version where it actually includes all the music files that were missing from the original North American release of this game. Mm-hmm. So the, so the um, the sound uh, the the sound hardware and the emulation is not not fully the best. Ah, yeah. Lord, not <laughs> he said it was but unexpected, also- but but also hilarious. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> also, he mentioned that uh, there's G- there's Iron Man suits in GTA Online. Mm-hmm. Which part of me is like, do I wanna? Part of me is like, I just wanna play that. All right, we're done at this castle. Well, trying to stop Necklord, that is. But uh, Khan is leaving as he says, "Well then, goodbye for now. I'm going to follow Necklord. When I find him, I'll send word to you." All right, so that takes care of that. Uh, uh, of that subplot. Now we need to get back to South Window. Mm-hmm. Oh, trying to get back to South Window? Uh-oh. Looks like everybody who was uh, Ruh-roh. with us, uh, just everybody who was with us at South Window just uh, came to this place. Now, uh... Eh? Eh? Why are... What happened? Why is everyone here? South Window has fallen to Highland. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Yep. What did you say? Is it is it true? What happened to Lord Grand Mayor? Killed by Solon G. No, no, it can't be Lord Grand Mayor. So yeah, South Window is screwed right now. Or Doom said his first thought was hearing, uh, "Is the main character swearing as he powers up his rune attack?" <laughs> and then he mentioned uh, they have an army of Highlanders. We don't stand a chance. Tell me exactly what happened. The only one. Yes. Just after you left South Window, we were attacked by General Solon G's first company. We mu- he must have judged that we didn't have a chance to win. Lord Grand Mayor surrendered unconditionally without a blow being struck. The very next morning, the mayor's head was hanging from Castle Gate. I was with I was with women and children, so I managed to get away. Pretty gruesome, just based on the description. Oh, 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 who do you have? Who do you have to thank for getting away? Quiet. Huh. Uh, it, it's in the dialogue. <laughs> well, yeah. anyway, we got away and came after you. On the way, we met Apple, Sai, and Leona. My I South Window. What if Highlanders from the movie Highlander were in this game as Highlanders? Hmm. Then I guess they That'd would be, be all afraid of Lex Luthor. Am I right? Get it? Because Clancy Brown. Highland is afraid of rebellion, so, they, so they're so they arresting former Muse and South Window soldiers all over the place. Ooh. Which means it's only a matter of time before the Highland army comes here. But we've got a few people in this abandoned old castle. What should we do? Nobody says anything. 
But I say, there's got to be a way. Everybody's down in the dumps, but... Oh. Ryu's got... Ryu's the only one who can think positively, positively about this. He's... He, you don't want to count out the main character in the story. I mean, thinking that there might actually be a way to win. But can we stop the whole Highland army? What's wrong with all of you? And then Ellie <laughs> comes to us and to assist us in telling everybody, Hey, yeah, there is a way. Look up. Don't look down. It's running away all you can think of? Ryu is right. There must be a way. There must be. But to fight a war we have no chance of winning is stupid. We do have a chance. Oh, and Apple comes to our aid this time, too. What do you mean? For a small force to defeat a larger force, strategy is needed. With the right strategy, we have a chance to win. Yeah? And have you figured out this strategy? No, I'm not up to the task. I've learned that the hard way. Yep, when uh, we lost the fort at the beginning. Well, in episode 2 when we were playing. But I know someone who is more capable than me. In Raddit Town, not Raddit's Town, just Raddit Town, there is a man named Shu. Not not the not the type of thing that you would wear on your feet, by the way. He and I were both students under Master Matthew. Matthew expelled him, but he's brilliant. A first class strategist. If we can get him to join us, I'm sure he'll be able to think up of a winning strategy. I guess you're right. We can't keep running to the edge of the world. That's right. That's right. Okay, let's do our best. Flick, you and me should gather all the troops we can find. The South Window Soldier should still be around somewhere. As far as the shoe guy goes, I'll leave it to you, Rio. Do your best to get him. This is important, Rio. Reddit Town is east of South Window. I'll go along with you. Don't worry about Pilika. I'll watch after her. Thanks, Leona. Okay, let's go, Rio. So, Nanami's gonna go with us, too. So, hey, 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 Apple. Is this shoe person... handsome? Hey? I don't know anything about that. Hey! I'm counting on you. <laughs> Weird dialogue there. But, uh... Yeah, looks like uh, things have changed on our end. We have to go find out who this shoe guy is and see if we can actually get him to join our side. So, yeah, let's uh, take a crew and uh, let's go uh, eastward. Yeah. Uh, guys? So, did you guys ever, uh, guys? Oh, I, it's just I didn't guy. Even I just didn't even hear anybody. It was just so quiet on my end. Yeah, I, I was muted, actually. Oh, dead. you were at, Oh, you were muted? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, hey, you didn't. How do you know? Unless I actually clicked the mute button, but I tend to mute on the actual, uh, especially when I'm sitting here, it'll, uh, the actual headset has a mute button on it. Mm -hmm. And when I'm sitting here, I'll rub against the table and the table will mute me without me uh, knowing. Ah, I see. So, yes, um, North Window Castle is our temporary base for right now until we actually win this battle. And by the time we win this battle, or after we win this battle, then this place will definitely be our base of operations going forward. So yeah, you could say technically we have our own castle for right now, but it's not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we see it's empty, but uh, I just remember all those times where like you guys are wondering where I am, and I think I'm being ignored, and you guys go, "Hey, what's your name?" I just go, "Ah!" <laughs> <laughs> so now we know you're here. No, no, it's happened before. Where, where like I think I'm being ignored, but you're, I'm, I'm not. You're not ignoring. It's just that I muted and I don't even know it. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately it does happen. Yeah. I guess that's part of what they call the uh, streaming curse. Maybe. No? Yeah. Yeah. I, I could see it, yeah. 
Don't forget, also, if you're good at a game, you will be bad when you're streaming. Because that's happened to me so many times. Oh, yes. I'm like, I do this game all the time. Also, me playing in life. I'm failing worse than I've ever failed before. <laughs> Ouch. Which, you know, it's funny, actually, if, 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 if it's possible on New Year's Eve, you know I always do a stream New Year's Eve? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Instead of, like, whatever game I'm playing, I, I, I kind of want, if, if, if I know I have the, the time to stay the full six or seven hours, is to speedrun Shenmue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you would be able to I beat it within that time frame, right? Oh, I've done it. And and the world record is like six hours. I, so I'm like, wait, I've done that before. <laughs> any percent or a hundred percent? I believe any percent. Okay. Hundred percent is way more than that, sure. Matter of fact, let me let me double check because Chenbu speed run records. So yeah, we're making our way eastward toward Raddit Town. To learn more about the shoe guy. So it... the top, the top um, run is on the PC version, six hours twenty nine minutes. Hmm. And then right behind that is six hours thirty minutes. And then uh, number four is six hours fifty three minutes. I can definitely beat that. I want to say I can. Doesn't mean I will, but I think I. Can. That's the HD console. That's the, P the HD console version is 7 hours, 12 minutes. I can do that under that. Oh, yeah. And the original version is 7 hours, 47 minutes. And I know I've done it in less than that. I know I've done it less than that before. Unless unless my brain is, you know, making a uh, height, you know, exaggerating things. But I, I could have sworn I've done it before on Dreamcast original. In less than like 6 hours or 7 hours and a half. Okay. Same. Oh, hey, hey OPH. OPH. She's said what now? Oh, I was just thinking about how I wanted to do a speed run of Shenmue and stream it on New Year's Eve. But I gotta know if uh, I'm freed that whole six or seven hours. Know what I mean? Yeah. So we finally made it to Raddit Town, and Raddit Town has some pretty nice and calm music to go along with this place. I mean, most of the towns we heard in the on this side of the uh, country have been very upbeat and just full of life. This one, I would say it's a bit more melancholy, but more soothing, if that makes any sense. So yes, this is Shu. Uh, Apple's uh, uh, fellow, I mean, What's the word I'm looking for? You know, that when they're uh, pu uh, pupils under the same master or whatever. If you, oh, if, if it's someone else? Yeah. Who has the same master? Yeah. A uh, fellow apprentice? I guess you... Yeah, I guess so. Or a fellow pupil. Shoo. Oh, cool. I already know what you want, but go ahead and tell me anyway. I want only one thing. I want you to join us. You know, you must know what Luca Blight is up to. If Highland takes over this country, a lot of people will suffer. Please, Shu. Please lend us your strength. That's what I figured. You're right. Luca Blight is a blight on this land. No pun intended. Oh, last thing right there. Yeah. yeah. Last thing. He intends to crush the state. That's why we must stop him. Please, join our side. I can't. Huh? B but why? You know what Luca is planning. That's true. But to be honest, I don't really care which country is destroyed. Oh, one of those emo type of people. I get it. Or one of those people who starts out as an asshole, but still remains one even though he fights for a good cause uh, during the game. I'm a trader now. Uh, T-R-A-D-E-R, -E you know, who does trade, not... Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> not an actual <laughs> backstabber. <laughs> I use my knowledge to predict... That's what I do. I use my knowledge to predict shifts in the world's economy. 
It's the greatest way to get rich. Rulers change, borders change, countries change, but money is a constant. In fact, nothing better for business yes. than a good war. So Shu, are you saying that even though you know what a monster Luka is, you're just going to ignore it? In a word? Yes. How, how can you? Deepest lore. I, I misjudged you. <laughs> you didn't even learn anything from Master Matthew, did you? The master. The master expelled me. Well, it was good seeing you again, I'm sure. Someone show them out, show them the way out. So, yeah. <laughs> what an arrogant SOB for denying us. But then again, I guess Matthew was kind of the same way in the first game a little bit, but not uh, not to this major degree like Shu is. But even though he denied us, is that really any way to say for us to give up? I wouldn't think that. I wouldn't think so. So there's got to be some way for us to get him to change his mind. So uh, let's see what we can do uh, in the town. See what we can learn if we can try to get him on our side. I don't want to go to the sluice gate to the east because we don't have any uh, we don't have any plans to go there just yeah. yet. You want to make material sluice through? It's not really a floor. Yeah. I think uh, Metal knows. My friend has a my friend has a crazy idea that it's wrong to eat meat. Is my friend crazy? No, Billy, just, just ignorant. ignorant. See, your friend has never heard of the food chain. Just ask any scientician. Uh, Duh. <laughs> he'll tell you that one animal inevitably needs another to survive. That's one of my favorite. favorite. That's one of my favorite things ever. The shark He's... eating the gorilla. Yeah, He's the, here oh, all that's the time. one of our. You know, <laughs> that that gorilla is too happy to be eaten by exactly. that shark. Exactly. He had to smile. <laughs> It's like, oh, I was tired of living anyway. Apple, are you still here? I think I think you know this, but Highland will be here sooner or later. I know that, but we're not leaving until you agree to help us. So what are you going to do? Are you willing to get down on your knees and beg? If that's what it will take. Oh, come on, stop it. I beg of you, please help us. We need you. Apple. You. Please, please, I'm begging you. We need your strength, Shu. I'm leaving. I'm not thirsty anymore. <laughs> well, I figured as much. Playing possum with us and saying that he just doesn't even care. Have you lost your pride as one of Matthew's disciples? You should be ashamed. Hey, you asked us to beg, so, uh... No, you should be ashamed. Of course I don't like to dirty myself on the ground before you, begging like a dog. But if necessary, I can throw away my vainful pride. That's what I learned from him. I'm leaving. I yes. Come on, that's enough. So, uh... Let's see what else we can do. To try to get him to join us. Might be one person in town who can actually give us a hand, but uh, we have to go to the south side of town. This guy. Go goes by the name of Richmond. Aha! Richmond, Virginia? <laughs> sure. Maybe that's his last name. Aha! I know about the three of you. You're Rio. That's your adopted sister, Nanami. And that's Apple, student of Matthew. Am I right? No. Is he supposed to sound like that? I I don't know. I was just coming up with a voice for him. How do you, how do you, how do you know? Tell well, that. I'll tell you what. You, you get your one man audio drama CD out there one day. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Richmond, the greatest private eye in Rattatown, can find out anything. So you came here to get Shu, the traitor, to join you, right? 
Yes, I know about that scene in the tavern, too. Do you want to hire me to help? I need 1500 potch up front. Then I'll get you some good information on Shu. Please do it. All right, so paid him 1500 potch to help us out. Okay, it's a deal. Leave the rest to me. Go back to the inn and relax. I always do what I promise. That's a promise from Richmond. I'll find you when I get the info. The inn is... Oh yeah, the Rebel Inn. Of course I know. They have great soup. Try it. Oh, really? Well, can I get some of that soup when we go inside? Because I want to taste it. But if they say no, that we can't do that. It said go up to the second floor. Hey, why can't we even have the soup? You're telling me we're going to bed already? God, I got jipped by this game. Thanks, Mr. Private Detective. What an asshole. Yeah, man. I want to stay up. It was a success. Who, who, who are you? Hey, you're the one from before. How did you get in here? Just calm down a minute. I came to report what I found out. Really? Come on, you really haven't done anything, have you? Hey, pretty lady. Why would this hard-boiled private eye, Richmond, do something like that? You just walked into my room while well, it was the middle of the night, dude. You should be ashamed of yourself. Richmond VA. Yeah. Oh. Hey, what's going on? Don't make such a fuss. Well, I'm good about getting the job done quick. It looks like the shoe person is avoiding you. But there's an important trade uh, tomorrow night. Shu has to attend. The trade will be at the port east of here. If you wait at the bridge, you'll be able to get the jump on him. Well, that's the end of my job. The rest is up to you. Well, see you later. Okay, so... We have to go to the eastern side of town where the Sluice Gate is. Or... Sluice? Is, Sluice, is, you're right. No, Sluice. Yeah. Like, I, like, Sluice, like that yeah. whole bit I brought up. With you know allowing material to sluice through mm -hmm. the house and the Dick building the and, floor, and the food baby. chain and the and the gorilla being eaten by the shark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is sluice. Sluice, sluice, sluice. So yeah, we go to the east side of the uh when, east whenever side of I town. hear the word sluice, I just want to drink juice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sluice juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and according to that private eye, she will come this way, so... Oh, let's by wait. the way, uh... LPH, are you gonna be watching, uh... Full Gear? That thing we're gonna watch. Yeah, that's it. Because they, they want 50 bucks, and... Okay, this is a good one. Content. I'm gonna retweet something just for you, Kaos. Oh, boy. There's nothing left to talk oh, like... about. No. I'm not giving up. Apple, listen carefully. It's a war you're trying to get me involved with. How to kill, that's what you and I studied. In the last battle, Victor's fort was burned to the ground because your strategy failed. How many people died? Do you even know? Yes, I know. I was weak and ineffective. That's exactly why we need your help. I'm guessing I should go to Twitter now. <laughs> Oh, LPH says he doesn't have the money. Well, shoot. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, they want 50 bucks. And, like, yeah. LPH also went there for uh, live. So, like, that cost, that must have cost. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And if your strategy had been successful, it would all, it would also have meant the loss of life. Wait, did, Can you did, really did, bear did that burden? Retweet? Are you talking to me? Did I retweet? No, metal, metal. He said he retweets. No, I just uh, retweeted something I thought Kaos might enjoy. Now I gotta look for my timeline. I've got a gold coin Twitter here. Hates. It's the you kind I just use. go to my profile too. So. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I've got a gold coin here. It's the kind I use when I'm trading with the island countries south of the Torin Republic. The island countries he's referring to are, is the Island Nations Federation, which is the setting that takes place in Suicoden 4, the earliest game in the franchise. <laughs> if you can find that coin, 
I'll join your side. What? But it's freezing out here! Is that really a promise? Yes, but remember, that's only if you find the coin. Oh, we'll find that coin. You just wait. So, yeah, he wants us to find the coin uh, inside the river, so we gotta get that sluice gate closed. But hopefully tonight's full gear will actually be very good. Hopefully. I want Hangman to win, seriously. I think it's time for Kenny Omega to give the belt to somebody else. And make it be in that same predicament with how Brock Lesnar is in where he's not the world champion, you know? But can still be, like, the guy who is the best over everybody and everybody who goes up against him try tries to be the guy to be the one to defeat him, I guess you could say. What do you kids want? This is no place for a bunch of land lovers like you. Could you please close the sluice gate? The sluice gate? That's a funny joke, kid. This gate only gets closed a couple times a year for special reasons. There's no way I'm closing it now, okay? Now go home. It's past your bedtime, kid. Well, <laughs> he's more than a kid, sir, so you may want to be careful what you say around Rio. Please, it's very important. You don't hear you don't hear too well, little girl. Don't make me give you a spanking. You don't want to get hurt, do you? You can hurt me if you want to, but close the sluice gate. Apple, just give up. Hey, you should take that cute little girl's advice. Hey, what's the trouble, Gin? Hey, Amada. Uh, yeah, that's the guy's name. Amada. Shiro Amada. <laughs> hey, Amada. Sadly, not Be that Amada. These these Sorry, crazy kids are telling Amada? us to close the sluice gate. <laughs> uh... So these oh, kids... uh, what did LPA say? Uh, a a he, he says, you go to Survivor Series and uh, bad WWE booking make me say no. Yeah, I know exactly. And uh, Triple A Championship. Uh... And he's referring to Kenny Omega still holding that Triple a, that Triple A Championship belt, you know, in the Mexican wrestling yeah. or whatever that stable is. Yeah, Triple A. That's mm -hmm. the name of the company. Yep. So these kids are up to funny stuff again, eh? Don't worry, I'll take it from here. Or, I'll take care of this. Okay, thanks. So, what do you want? The sluice gate? You mean that thing over there? Yes, please, just close it for one day. Or even just one night. Couldn't you please close it? Hmm, I see. Sorry, little lady. I just can't... I can't just close the sluice gate for no good reason. If someone's life was in danger, or if there was some other emergency, it would be different. Many people's lives depend on it. We must stop the Highland Army. Hmm? Listen, little lady. I don't think the sluice gate has anything to do with the war. Oh, please. Oh, wow, you're really serious. I've got a weak spot in my heart for hardworking kids like you. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll fight you for it. If you win, that means you're for real. And I'll close the gate. How about it? Wanna try? Oh, yeah, I'll do it. So, ladies and gentlemen, here is one-on-one -on -one duel number two in this game. Oh, wow. Took this long. Mm-hmm. So, Rio versus Amada. Don't forget to check it out now. Well, I don't know. And remember, when you're fighting in battles like these, pay attention to what your enemy says, because whatever they say, that will give you an accurate... Um, First showing un you got. Uh, give you an accurate understanding of what your opponent is going to... Uh, do whether they yeah. do an attack defend or a uh, wild attack or critical blow so based on what he's saying he says first show me what you've got boy that means he's going to defend so just hit him with an attack and you yeah. can see that the the amount of damage he actually takes uh you know from from us is actually a lot more than what uh flick felt when we fought up you know when we fought against him a couple episodes ago uh, so attack him again. Oh, and he, it's, he's attacking us with an ore. It's not hardly. Oh, <laughs> it's God, not really. Pulling a Musashi on you? Yeah, he is. 
and he says he's about ready to take the kid gloves off. That means he's going to do his wild attack. But our wild so attack was a lot more that? efficient because that took him down easily. Dang. Yeah. Dang. Wow. Saw about him, really. Mm-hmm. Ouch. That looked cool. I um, mean... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm sorry. I guess you were serious. What do I do now? Well, a promise is a promise, but for... But only for one night, okay? Okay. All right, so... We get that one night to try to find that gold coin that's sunk in the bottom of the river. Okay, we oh, actually boy. find it. In the pan. And that... And that river water is... I bet you it's probably freezing. I mean, especially if it came from the ocean, you know how cold that uh, either lake water or ocean water tends to get because there's really no heater or whatever. And since there's a lot of water, that does tend to get cold uh, all the way throughout. It's like when I went to Lake Tahoe. That lake is cold all uh, like every single day of the year. So, yep, it is time for us to fetch a coin. <laughs> Pretty good water effects, too, you know, just from looking at them. With the water being drained and all. Actually, yeah, it is. Yes, one 2D. It's fair. PS 2D, 1, 3D, 5. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's really, uh, it, it is really cool how they managed to make, you know, those, uh, you know, effects like that for sprite-based games. When they get very creative in doing stuff like that. That just, I guess you could, you can, you can definitely see its artificialness or, you know, just shows how artificial the effects are which actually makes it even more cool. You know, with the yeah. uh, the wavy water and all. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. How about you, Metal? You have uh, Ultraman, Dinah, and Gaia. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I thought something happened with them. Uh, they have a live event coming up this week. Well, like on Thursday. That uh, is a, like, basically it's a uh, ticketed uh, exclusive live stream. That's only like 10 bucks. But it's 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 going to be interesting. It's, it's another one of their Ultraman connections. And unlike the last one, which was sponsored by uh, SH Figure Arts. Yeah, this one you got to pay for. <laughs> So, yeah, that's on Thursday. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what comes out of that because it is specifically about uh, Dinah and Gaia. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what uh, what they have to show off. Coins found. Woo! Oh, yeah, it's true. You know it's true, Nanami. That's it. That really, that's really the uh, coin. Correct. Yes. <laughs> Hooray, hooray! The coin. So now Shu will... And he was watching us the entire time. Always watching. The promise. Yes, the promise. You were so okay. cold to me. <laughs> Actually, I think it was Apple who should have said this. You were so cold to me. Why did you have to... It was necessary. You're a strong woman. I may have inherited Master Matthew's brain, but you inherited his heart. So then... Yes, leave it to me. I'm worth more than 100,000 soldiers, and I'm on your side now. Thank you. Can you show me that coin? Th that rune on your right hand... Your name is Ryo, right? You wouldn't be Master Genkaku's son, would you? How do you know about Grandpa Genkaku? Are you? I see. Are you? 
There aren't many left who recall, but the name of Master Ginkaku has a special meaning for the city-state. What do you mean? We'll talk about it after the war. Right now, we have to worry about defeating Solonji and his troops. Ryo, I want to thank you for saving Apple. Between you and that rune on your right hand, we might just have a chance to win this war. Now we finally got that strategist to uh, join our cause. Good. So, I'd say yeah. it's time. It's, I'd say it's time to get our castle finally fortified, since we now have a strategist. Ha! Another job well done. Got that right, Rich. How did it go? He has a lot of stuff to take care of. It was so sudden, it might take some time. He wants us to go on ahead without him. So, let's head back to North Window for the time being. Alright, so, time for us to head back to our own abode. So yeah, with Full Gear uh, taking place tonight, and uh, Survivor Series taking place this month for WWE, I, you know, that kind of makes me curious how that's all going to go down for WWE this year. I mean, ever since the massive layoffs not too long ago. God, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, if this year's Survivor Series actually, well, I mean, then again, not all pay-per-views from WWE are, you know, are a crown jewel or whatever. Mm. But just... Oh, it's so under my neighborhood. But it just, it, it really does make me curious how, how the ratings are going to be and all that, and the viewership. Well, maybe the viewership will be fine, but just the the ratings may suffer because of what all limited that they're that they have on their hands in order to make the show. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, uh, and you know, you you and I, Jerry, uh, when we were talking about it, you brought up a good point that you know, based on the. Uh, massive profits that they made and with the massive layoffs they made after that that Vince McMahon might be intending on selling his company to a uh, bigger entity that is the uh, yeah a lot of people uh, speculated that so people are like no but I can't say for sure but I mean I can't say you, you, sh you should uh, discount it because it that is the kind of moves you would make if you were going to sell it. I mean, mm -hmm. that's exactly the type of moves you would make. Trying to maximize profit and then sell it. I mean, that's pretty much. You're back, Rio. Apple. How was it? Were you able to talk to that strategist? Shu promised to help us. He should be here soon. I guess the rest is up to the strategist of yours. But can we really trust him? He was banished, after Family? all. If you don't trust so? me, per if you don't trust me, perhaps you should leave. Oh, yeah, exactly. If you don't trust him, leave. Shoo, that was fast. There's much to do, so I pushed my horses hard. I uh, went through three steeds. Jojo goes up. <laughs> I went through three steeds on the way here. I got a horse named uh, Whole Horse. Yeah. That's one of his steeds' names. Well, let's just say that in our own canon. Or, yeah, our own head canon. One of his horse's names is, uh, Whole Horse. <laughs> hey, you, big guy. Are you Victor? Yeah, that's right. Listen up. Follow my orders and do as I say, and we can defeat the Highland Army. Don't believe in me, and you'll be the loser. If you want to win, don't question me again. If you can't do that, I'll consider you an obstacle that needs to be removed. Apple, I'm starting to see why he was banished. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Blue Boy, you're Flick, right? How many soldiers do we have? Ooh, Blue Boy. I mean, sure, he may have the color blue on him, but uh, he's no little boy blue, mister. Even Flick said it best. 
Careful what you call me. If we add up the former Muse and South Window soldiers, plus the women, children, and elderly volunteers, we've got about 2,000. That and this rickety old castle. The Highland, the Highland Army, on the other hand, has increased its size to 20,000 with the addition of South Window's troops. I've got a plan. If I recall, this castle played a key role in a counterstrike when the Scarlet Moon Empire invaded. 2,000 soldiers may be enough. They, they may be 20,000 strong, but they'll have to leave soldiers to man their garrisons as they go. In reality, they have only 10,000 soldiers to move as they please. Furthermore, one-third of them are former, are former South Windows soldiers. Under the right conditions, we should be able to get them to join our side. If we could do that, we'd have a force of 5,000 compared to their force of 7,000. We have a good chance to win. I'm impressed. Listening to you, I actually believe we've got a chance. But what exactly is the plan? Freed. Yes, sir! Infiltrate the Highland Army and spread the rumor that all South Window soldiers will be executed when the war is over. I understand, sir. Well, golly. Everyone else will stay here and protect this castle. We've got to buy some time. I'm executed. What then? No reinforcements are coming, and I don't think Freed's rumor alone will get the South Windowers to change sides. The enemy will undoubtedly try to surround this castle. We'll have a small unit work its way around the enemy and attack Solonji's unit from the rear. If we attack their general, the troops will be shaken. We should be able to get to get the South Windowers to change sides. Wait a minute. This is a peninsula. How are we going to sneak around an enemy that has us surrounded? The Highland Army has only been... Yeah, the Highland Army has only been in land battles. They have no experience on the water. For Solonji, water is just an obstacle. But well, we're going to use the lake to our advantage. We should be able to borrow some ships from the neighboring village. The neighboring village of Couscous. You've taken, you've taken care of everything. I feel like we're going to win. Yeah, we're going to win. We're going to win. Well, all right. Okay, I'll take a chance on you. But who's going to attack Solonji's unit? Either me or Victor. No, I'm going to leave that role for someone else. Rio, I'd like you to do it. Okay. The key to defeating Luca Blight is literally in your hands. We're counting on you. Well, everyone get to work. Freed, I'll help you figure out what to say to the South Window soldiers. For the memory of Grand Mayor, for the people of South Window, I'll fight with all of my power. Okay, I'm counting on you. Victor, Flick, Sai, try to protect the castle. Apple, I want you to handpick 300 soldiers from our army of 2,000. That will be Rio's unit. Yes, sir. This time, I'd like to win. Don't mess up. So I'll win. Well, there's no time. If we lose this battle, there won't be any more. Everyone, get prepared. So, yeah, based on what we're hearing from uh, the strategy, it sounds uh, sounds pretty effective, if you ask me. But maybe not the whole thing about the rumor about, you know, those South Window people getting executed after this battle. But, yeah. <laughs> I'd say, but realistically, I'd say for this battle, we might ha actually have a winning chance. And this crowd went silent. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What they they don't well, even believe in this plan? Are they na are they naysayers? <laughs> I think the only difference is like when I when I play uh like a dragon if people want to see that i don't know like if y'all want to see uh, so far only one person said they want to see like a dragon mm. or two people but that's two against zero who said anything else so right now two people mm. who want like a dragon versus well if you want maybe you should like post a poll or something on twitter yeah. to try and see what uh you, you see what uh like three or four games that you have as potential candidates for your next lp after kiwami 2 Maybe yeah, that will actually, maybe you can do that there, or maybe you can do it on Discord or something. That way we can get some interaction from people. 
Hey, Rio. I can do that. Did you sleep well? This next battle is riding on you. The Highland Army has arrived. It appears they're trying to surround the castle. Okay, it's time. Victor, Flick, are you ready? Leave it to us. We'll protect this place. What about you, Rio? Yeah, don't worry. I'm ready for this. Okay, begin the operation. It's time to actually win this fight. Okay. Now that sounded like David Hayter right there. It's a compliment. It's a compliment. <laughs> Good. They're just good. They're just rats in a trap. Crush them. Don't let anyone escape. But our forces are spread too thin. Our flanks are too exposed. Now, out of all the army battles that actually that, you know, when you fight in this game, this army battle here is it. This is the only time you'll actually hear music in the North American version, whereas the uh, the army battles from before where you heard the music, you know, for me playing, you don't actually hear that in the in the North American release. This is the one you actually do hear in this game's original release back in 1999. Hey, bad gamer. Hey, you ever. How's it going? The old coward from South Window gave up without a fight, and I was getting bored. So anyways, just keep the enemy busy until Rio arrives and sneaks up behind him to attack. And yeah, this is the la- And yep, I told you there was Gilbert- There's Gilbert Grape amongst our uh, ranks, so yeah, he did not die. I mean, you may think he died in the last episode, but no, he did not. Ah, more Sweet Suicoden code tactics. tactics, yes. <laughs> yes. That's pretty much what it is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, did you sneeze, Metal Bussy? Uh, no, I didn't, but thank you. Anyway. Uh, thank you, sure. nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, but still. You're like, but I appreciate it. All right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fire spear their ass. <laughs> Blake is the only one who has fire spears. Anyway, you don't need to necessarily have Ryo attack Solon G as the um, that state unit that's next to him that you can control. If you attack him, then you should be able to get the South Windowers to join your side after this attack. Oh, and didn't lose any units. Or didn't lose any men in our unit. Bad Gamer says, fun fact, in later Suicoden games, it becomes a real time tactics game. Yeah, it does. What the hell? The, the enemy has attacked from our flank. What? Where did they come from? We, we've been surrounded. Don't be such a coward. Go back to the front line. I'll take care of this thorn in our behind. Hey, look at that. Highland Army? They're being beaten? Everyone, look! Ryo is attacking Solonji's personal unit! That's a brave young man! Really? Solonji's unit? Lord Ryo, he's a man that could lead us to victory! It's our chance to fight back! Victory. Bad Gamer said, uh, where'd they come from? Maybe the woods? Total Biscuit Face. That's right. They came from the woods. It's time to pay them back for what they did to Lord Grand Mayor. For the honor of South Window! He's right! Now's our chance to fight! Destroy the Highland Enemies. Army! Enemies. So, yes, we, uh... We finally got them to join our side. So, yep, the enemy is uh, surrounded, and we have a good chance to win this fight. If we can survive this long. And we don't lose any soldiers. Our work is done for the time being. We should get back. So yeah, basically for the next few rounds, just try to fight the Highland Army until they retreat, and then it's a good, it's as good of a battle that we won as any. First time as an actual army too. So.
So, what do you think of the war battles in this game when compared to the first game, Jerry? I mean, because you saw what the war battles looked like in the uh, first game when compared to uh, this game, right? I did. This looks more like traditional strategy RPG, which I like. Well, mm -hmm. I like, not like the other one didn't, but this one looks a whole lot more like Langris or Fire Emblem. So, mm -hmm. it's, it's sh actually shining in the Shining Force as well. Uh-huh. If you're, you ever played Shining Force. Oh, yeah. Because I have. Because I didn't know what the heck it was. I never, I think I never played a strategy RPG until I played, because I was like, cool. And I was like, I don't, I was like, what is this game? I gotta do, this is crazy. And like, like, kid me. This is crazy. This is cool. Crazy. Taxi. And then hey, 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 come on over, taxi. have some fun with Crazy Taxi. And Bad Gamer says like that, this. in his opinion, this is the best version of the war fights in all of the Suicune franchise. And personally, I got to agree too, Alex. The war fights in this game, they actually feel more polished. Feels like that there's actual strategy that's actually, you know, that's involved in this game when you're fighting these army battles. Because you remember how the war battles were in the first game, how they just, you know, you had a bunch of the, uh, you know, the units that were out in the battlefield and they were just like on one side and the other was on the other side. So it kind of played a bit more like, uh, 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 fiery emblem, you know, when enemies attack each other. Yeah. Langrister, like, I like the way these horses look when they charge each other. Langrister does that. Mm hmm. Man, the Highland Army is seeing about us. We have a report. Freed's unit was attacked by the enemy. Oh, he was just wounded, so he didn't die in this fight. Good. If they, Good. As I said, if they get wounded in combat, then they don't actually perish. Okay, well, that's good. Lord G, it's no good. At this rate, we'll soon be sur we'll soon be surrounded ourselves. I know that, you fool! Retreat! Full retreat! Whew. That was a hair-raising uh, battle, but we actually won won it. So, yep, that castle is ours. When you come back to the castle. All the soldiers are uh, happy to see you, and they congratulate you on a uh, battle won. Yeah, I know, Alex. It looked like they were actually winning because our uh, our own units were actually, you know, were getting attacked, and we could hardly put a dent into them. Hey, Lord Rio is back. Lord <laughs> Rio, look, look at him. But only the f four guys in front. Of oh, wait, more dudes are jumping. All right, never mind. Yep, I like that. Whee! Jumping bean. Notice how they're calling him Lord Rio. Because... Yeah, that's right. That's, that's, that's... I guess that's they're going good. by his official title as, like, leader of this army. Or what they're foreshadowing to, at least. You're famous, Rio. All of a sudden, you're everyone's hero. <laughs> and well, he should be. This is the young man who defeated the Highland Army. Everyone's talking about you. They're calling you the Herald of Victory. We've managed to win this battle, but but, but, but we've already lost Lady Annabelle, and Muse has fallen under the control of Highland. The state is in shambles, and the survivors are in danger of best of being destroyed one yes, at a time. Uh, Lord of his castle. Yes, he is. Furthermore, sooner or later. Luca Blight's main unit, the White Wolf Guard, will attack us here in North Window. 
In our present condition, we wouldn't be able to defend against such an attack. We need to gather more power here. You're talking about making this castle into our headquarters so we can fight the Highland army? Exactly. We've already got a we are we've already got a good tool for collecting people. It's this great old castle. But now we need someone to focus all that power. Someone to bring us all together. We need a leader. Shu, are you saying you're going to be that leader? No, I can't do it. I'm a military genius, but I'm no good at I'm a military genius, but I'm no good at leading people, inspiring them. In that case, are we going to appeal to the remaining city mayors? But without a leader, I'm not sure they'll help us. There is a person here who should be our leader. Rio. No, I mean Lord Rio. You are the one who should become the leader of the new state army. We need you to show us the way to victory. Wait a minute here. Why? Why Rio? That's not right. Can you explain why? Is it... The name Gik... Is it the name Ginkaku, Shu? Ginkaku. Do you mean that Ginkaku? You are the son of the hero Ginkaku, who was driven from the city-state 30 years ago. In your hand, you possess the same bright shield rune that Ginkaku did. You are Lord Ryo, who defeated Sol General Solonji of Highland. Many people look at you, or look to you for hope. Oh. Lord so you Bad can gamer said, uh, yeah. You can definitely see the parallels between Ryo and the main protagonist from the first Sui Koden, where basically their eyes, or the spark, the, sh the the sparkle in their eyes, or the shine in their eyes, are what bring pe is the is the type of thing that brings people together. So. They brought that same type of motif back for the main hero, which honestly, I can see that being a good hook. But anyway, what did Bad Gamer say? Well, he wants to play this game again, and now that he has three weeks until until Endwalker, Endwalker comes out, it would mm -hmm. be the time to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But more than all that, I've seen the brilliance, brilliance in you. By the way, welcome, welcome, everybody, and... Uh, we just got Shu. I'm just uh, uh, people for who just came in. Yes. We got Shu. We got our castle. We're the lord of the castle now. And Hell we did yeah. a big old uh, Shining Force style strategy RPG fight. <laughs> but, but more than all that, I've seen the brilliance in you. The kind of brilliance that this age needs. You must lead the state army. Me? A leader? Wait a minute, Rio. Are you sure? I think you should give it some more thought. But Luca Blight... That... that's true, but... But why you? Is there some reason Rio must do it? It's going to be very dangerous. But... if I can help out... Yes, but... We can't expect Rio to make a decision now. He needs some time. But there's something else I want to talk to Rio about. Something that Annabelle didn't have time to tell him. Lord Rio, please take your time and think about it. When you've made your decision, please come back here. I believe in you. Rio, Nanami, come to the tavern later. I'll tell you about Ginkaku. And this is what uh, Annabelle was going to tell us right before she headed out by Joey in the previous episode. Kind of a sad tale, too, when you uh, read what, what all goes on in the text. But, uh, We'll see you here in just a minute. But yeah, we got our own castle now. Who would have thought? So we can finally start recruiting people to our cause. And we will actually be recruiting a few people, not everybody. But we'll see how many we can get for today's, you know, for this episode before we close it off. Neat. Yes. You're here. Good. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Come on in. Um, I guess, I guess you still can't drink, eh? Well, I mean, yeah. He is, he is in his early teens. That's for sure. We came to hear about Grandpa Kinkaku. 
And Bad Gamer says, and now relax and enjoy some long cutscenes. Well, don't worry. I'd say this is about maybe five, ten minutes long for a uh, cutscene. Hey, come on now. What's the rush? It's a long story, and it's not a very happy one either, okay? So, what do you think? Still want to hear it, Rio? I still want to hear it. Okay. Well, get ready. It's a long story. Just before... <coughs> Thank you for interrupting me, Hannah. Why would you want to uh, bark at me when I'm about to tell a good story? Because you're really going to ruin the mood here, little lady. That's my dog, by the way, guys. <laughs> for those of you who don't know. Anyways, uh, just before this war started, fighting between Highland and the state was pretty much limited to minor border skirmishes. But was it about 30 years ago? Highland, Highland and the state fought a great war against each other. There are a lot of different stories about what happened, but it looks like the state started the war. Annabelle's father, Mayor Darrell of Meuse, led the state, and the famous general, Han Cunningham, led the Highland Army. And in happy days. <laughs> Darrell was an amateur when it came to war, and before long, he had lost half of Muse in the Matilda Domain. That's when, our, that's when a hero appeared. Your adopted father, Genkaku. Genkaku got command of a unit and raided Highland's supply tent. This slowed Highland long enough for the state to recover. The war went back and forth. Ginkaku and Han were from the same village, and it looks like they were good friends. Sometimes they would drink together leisurely right in the middle of both camps. In doing so, they soon both realized what a stupid and pointless war it was. And so Ginkaku and Han worked together to make a peace treaty. The citizens of both countries were overjoyed. All except for one man the mayor of Muse City. Mucilix, man. I just, every time I hear Muse, I think of Mucilix. Yeah. You know, stuff you need for your gut poop. Oh, yeah. Mucinex. There was poop. There was one border city, your hometown of Cairo that Daryl refused to, hand, to give over to Highland. And so negotiations broke down, and the war began anew. That's when the King of Highland, Agares Blight, made a suggestion. The war should be decided by a duel between both champions. Daryl agreed to the idea, as did Han and Ginkaku, who wished only who wished only that the war would finally come to an end. And what is that they must do? Duel to see who actually wins. The time came for the duel to begin. King Agares gave, gave his sword to Han, and Mayor, and Mayor Daryl gave his sword to Ginkaku. This signaled that each champion was fighting as representative of their own country. But something happened. Ginkaku never once, e never once even raised his sword. Daryl ordered him to fight over and over, but he refused. Time passed, and the people got angry that the contest was spoiled. They blamed Ginkaku. With no other choice, Han knocked away Ginkaku's blade, put, de put his own sword on Ginkaku's neck, and declared victory. That's how your town that's how your town of Cairo came to be Highland territory. Yankaku was called traitor and ordered into exile by Lord Daryl. He left without uh, ever revealing his true He left without ever revealing his true reason for not fighting.
Many years passed. Daryl left his job as mayor, and finally it was learned why Genkaku had refused to fight. Daryl had secretly coated the sword he gave to Genkaku with poison. Oh, so that's why. The mayor gave him a sword coated, coated with poison, and if he killed the, the person who he was going up against, then he would be considered a murderer. So either way, Genkaku was screwed, whether if he surrendered or whether if he fought or not, basically. Genkaku was ruined whether he won or lost. If he lost, fine. If he won, Daryl would was planning to expel him for his evil crime. So you can actually see that this guy, Daryl, was possibly the one who actually, you know, started the whole crap to begin with, you know, with the, uh, with how this whole war in Dunan became a thing. And pretty much the main reason what made Luca Blight into a mad demon as he is. Genkaku detected the poison and couldn't bring himself to swing his sword. And so, Genkaku's name was finally cleared. But Genkaku would never again return to the city-state. As for what happened after that, well, you know about that better than I do. So that's the sin that they were talking about that they committed against the war hero of the city-state. Basically, the former mayor was going to screw him either way. I guess it was more important to Genkaku to live happily with you two than it was to return to the state to clear his name. And after that, well, you must be tired. Anyway, that's the kind of life your grandpa led. But Ryo, you're not Genkaku's son. You're a person named Ryo. Don't ever forget that. Oh, it's pretty late. You should carry Nanami to bed. You two are good kids. I think I sort of understand how Ginkaku must have felt about you. Quite a deep story, wouldn't you say? Or a deep backstory? Why the, uh... Why Ryo's adopted father, uh... You know... Why the city state betrayed him in the first place? Yeah, pretty deep. Have you made up your mind? If you think I can do it. Rio, thank you. I'll lend you all my strength so that we can defeat that bastard Luca Blight. Please, Rio, we need your power. Lord Rio, it's not much, but I'll give you all of my strength too. I, I'll fight for you too, for South Window, for Lord Grand Mayor, for all the people who have suffered at Highland's hand. Lord Rio, with all the power I have learned at the feet of my master, I promise to help bring you victory. I don't have much strength to give, but I'll give you all I've got. <laughs> this is no way to celebrate such a momentous occasion. We've got, we've got a new leader. Let's have a party. I would like to congratulate you as well. Dr. Dr. Juan from Muse is uh, shown up. So uh, basically, Tuda, uh, Tuda's master. Doctor, you're okay. I'm so glad. I'm sorry I had you so worried. Dr. Juan, how did you survive Muse? Well, I was helped out by a kind soldier and finally made it here. The soldiers will be happy to hear that we now have such a famous healer. Welcome, Dr. Juan. Thank you. I hope my small knowledge of medicine will be some help to you and your troops. Lord Rio, I'm happy to be here. I'll try to make myself useful to the other people in this castle. Nice! So we got ourselves our own doctor in the castle to heal our troops. So, make a good progress with fortifying an army, even though it was small as we are. But hey, it was just like the first game, right? Where, you know, our army was small and it grew into something huge in the end? Oh yeah, you're right. 
North Window Castle is no good. North Window was the name of a village that no longer exists. What should we do? Shall we have Lord Rio think of the name of the castle? Yeah, how about it, Rio? What would make a good name? Yeah, so basically, you can use this to name your own castle as well. So it's uh, pretty much got the... Uh, it's got the same, uh, you know, same type of uh, functionality as, say, the... Uh, as, you know, trying to name your own unit or the name of your own character, too. So, yeah, whatever name you go with, go with that. But, you know, since we're in the country of Dunan, I'm just going to go ahead and call it Dunan Castle. Oh, Dunan Castle, huh? That's a great name. Yes, I like it, too. Oh, you'd like anything you thought of. Shut up, sis. So this is Dunan Castle, huh? Well, it's okay, isn't it? It's the name our leader chose. Good. Not that we have chosen our castle's name. How about a, how about that party? Or we have to wait on that. What? Huh? Wh who are you? I am called Lecknot. I am the keeper of the gate rune, the watcher of the great balance. Rio, inheritor of the bright shield rune. The cycle is complete. The stars of destiny are poised to gather once again. I give you the stone tablet of promise. The names that appear on it, the, the names that appear on it show your followers, the source of your strength. I'm Lady Lecknot's pupil, Luke, and this is the stone tablet of promise. You should be grateful that the lady has given you this. I'll also favor you with my great presence. I'm not what... I'm not what I choose, but Lady Lecknot has ordered it. So yes, the Wind Mage from the first game who, you know, we saw at the beginning of the first game, he lends his support for our army too. These old eyes see the future dimly. Many strands of fate are woven around you, young man. Your friend, the inheritor of the Black Sword Rune, I see him also. You both have hard roads ahead. So you must always look forward and proceed carefully, Rio. So, it's Victor and Flick. You're still alive? Y you Is this person a friend of yours? Well, sort of. We once fought together. Ah, oh well. Next time, we'll have a real party. And with that, I would like to say that this part is where I say that Act 1 of this game is completely closed. Because the end of Act 1 is us, you know, starting up our own army. And I would say for uh, this scene right here that starts off, that's the beginning of Act 2. Going forward. And I'm pretty sure that Alex would agree with me too that this is, would, would be the game's next act in the story. Okay, so, um... Now, we do want to recruit some people, but uh, let's go ahead and get a party first, and let's see if we can try to get a few places in to where we can actually recruit people today. So, uh, let's see. Might want to go ahead and get Victor and uh, Blick in the party, but also... Let's get Freed in the party as well, because we're going to need him to recruit somebody in um, in one of the towns that's close to us. Uh, maybe we could take Luke with us, too. So, yeah, okay. So, um, first, uh, first place we're going to go to is... Um, we're going to go to Couscous, and then we'll go to South Window... And then we'll go to Raddit Town. And if I could try to do this quickly... Oh, here's a little preview of what to expect the next time when we get back to this game, but that won't be until after a couple weeks. Because, you know, next week we are returning to Fightcade. Thank you. You see, I heard, a, I heard a rumor that a great hero here defeated the Highland Army, so I decided to come here and see for myself. Have you ever seen this hero? What's he like? The hero is me. Oh, you're the hero, of course. 
I am such an idiot for not realizing that. <laughs> well, nice joking around with you, kid. I'm gonna go see the audience with the real leader. Catch you later. Oh, not that very bright, are you, mister? So yeah, we saw that guy in Muse uh, right before we went to war with him. Or went to war with Highland when we were there for the first time. It was right after Joey got kidnapped. So as I said, we're going to be making a trip to Couscous first because there is one person we can recruit. Uh, I say that and actually I don't think we need to come here just quite yet. Um, actually, let's go to South Window, because South Window is where we want to go first. And go ahead and get out of here. And this is where, you know, where that command prop that says let go, where you can actually let the enemies go if you're fighting them. That I'd say this is probably where it's going to come in handy quite a lot for you to get some runaways in from, you know, the enemies that you're fighting, because... In order to recruit one of the members of the 108 Stars of Destiny, we need to actually run away from battle at least 50 times. Okay, so... I mean, I guess we could recruit that guy first, but if we did, then that would have taken it... That would take us out of the city right away, so... Let's go ahead and, uh... Go to the end first, because we'll actually get greeted by some people who we, uh... Haven't seen since, uh, I would say part three. No, no, part two. And look, it's Alex and Hilda and their son. Hey, it's Rio. Long time no see. Huh? Lord Rio, how have you been? Hey, it's those guys from before. Hi there. Hey, let's ask him about that thing. Oh, um, okay, but don't forget, if I win, you have to do what I say. Oh, that's fine. But if I win, you'll do whatever I say, understand? It, yes, of course. Rio, I heard that the leader of the Dunan army is also named Rio. Could that be you? Hilda says you're the one in the you're the one in the same. But that's not true, is it? Huh? Really? Did you really become the leader of the Dunan army? See? Just like I told you, the first time I saw Rio's beautiful eyes, I knew it. I knew that he would touch the lives of a lot of people. Bah. Yeah, well, I guess my eyes are get, are pretty ugly next to his, eh? Howdy doesn't suit you. Bah, forget it. Anyway, what are you going to do now, Rio? I'm thinking that... I'm, I'm thinking about maybe doing some more treasure hunting. We promised, didn't we, that we'd try to help. We're not soldiers, and we can't offer to help with the fighting. But I think we can still help. Please, let us help. <laughs> Bad Gamer says, bah. <laughs> oh, so you're... <laughs> so you're Hilda's husband, huh? <laughs> so yes, we actually get these two to join our castle. They are the innkeeper and the item shopkeeper. So yes, we actually uh, got them in our army. All right. Now, there's one more person I actually want to get in this town before we go to Raddit Town. And uh, to do that, we need to go inside here and talk to this uh, talk to this lovely fellow right here. I say lovely fellow, but he's a loudmouth talker. Say hello to Adlai. What do you want? Uh, would you join our group? I don't care about that. I need a sacrificial Jizo. Hurry and bring one. Hurry and bring me one. So I give him a sacrificial Jizo. Eh? What's this? A sacrificial Jizo? Did I ask for this? What I what I need is a wooden shield. Oh, you are very forgetful. <laughs> but uh, the way how we recruit him is actually pretty funny. But you'll see. Okay, so we need to get ourselves one of these wooden shields. Uh, okay, wooden shield, so uh, put it in the bag. And, um... And if we come back here and give him the wooden shield, he'll say, What? What am I 
supposed to do with this piece of junk? Anyway, where's that wind crystal that I told you to get? Okay. Now, we can hand over the wind crystal, or we can throw the wind, wind crystal at him. But seeing as how we gave him two of the items that he didn't want before, let's throw that wind crystal at him. Ouch! What are you doing, you little punk? Eh? Eh? Hmm. <laughs> good man, Rio. It's good to stand up for yourself. Well, I'll see you at Dudan Castle. So, yes. This guy now officially joins our group after we threw a wind crystal at his face. What? You're wondering how I knew your name? You thought Dr. Adlai didn't even know that? Anyway, let's hurry and go. So, when we come back to our castle, Look at this, I call this invention an elevator. It's Adlai's greatest work, use it carefully. He builds our uh, elevator so we can actually go up floors uh, really quickly, just like we could in the first game. But, you know, downside is if you're, you know, when you're in the middle of trying to recruit people, then, you know, when you recruit, some, recruit somebody like him, it actually brings you back to the castle. Uh, let's get one more place in before we end off tonight's live stream, and I want to go over to Raddit Town. And we need to walk our way to the east because there are a couple people we do need to recruit to our side. So yeah, since we have our own castle, we're now getting into the habit of, you know, recruiting people on the fly. Yeah! Alright, so... Uh, first thing we want to do, um, the, the two people we want to recruit are both down here, but let's go ahead and see if we can try to get Richmond to join. Say, it's been a long time, I know I know you, you're the leader of the Dunan army now, right? Well, best of luck. Uh, Richmond, why don't you join our group, buddy? So you came back, eh? I knew you would. Well, I guess I could join your group, but why should I? Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll toss this coin, and if you guess it right, I'll join you. How about it? All right. Here it goes. Uh, call heads. Haha, <laughs> too bad, it's tails. Now, uh, one more time. Let's see if we can try to call tails. Oh, so close, it's heads. So, yeah, the guy's coin where, you know, if we pick one, he's going to say the other. So I'm going to go ahead and give up on this because we're going to take a little trip to the cafe or the, yeah, the, yeah, the cafe. Talk to one of the NPCs. He says, <laughs> you bet with Richmond? That guy's a cheat. He uses a trick coin. He can tell which side is which while it's in his hand. All he has to do is flip it over. That's why you never win. Listen here, boy. Use this coin and go challenge him again. All right, so we got this coin, so we're going to try to talk to him again, and we're going to see if he can use that coin instead. Want to challenge me? Maybe you can win this time. Here, use this coin. Haha! <laughs> no, oh, you figured it out, eh? Sorry for tricking you. But Rio, a great leader, has to learn to see through cheap tricks like that. Got it? Okay, a promise is a promise. I'll join your group. So we got the private eye to now join us. So that adds another person to our uh, castle. All right, one last one in this town. Um, and this is where I say we need to bring Freed with us because one of the people we want to recruit in this town is actually over here. Ladies and gentlemen, Freed's wife. Yoshino Yamamoto. Whew. Should we take a rest? Oh, hello there. I'm sorry, I didn't notice that we had a visitor. It's you! Are you okay? Are you okay? Yoshino was worried about you. Yoshino. I'm sorry. So, yeah, Freed's wife, Yoshino. He's got, uh... He, he's got a good eye for, uh... For a woman to be his wife, right there. If you were okay, why? Why? Why didn't you tell me? South Window surrendered and Lord Grandmayor was killed. I was so worried. Why didn't you send word? 
Yoshino, after Grand Mayor died, it was my duty to do whatever I could for the people of South Window. Now is the time to fight. It's not the time for me to worry about my personal affairs. Your sense of duty. That's why I love you. But, but you came back to me. You came home to Yoshino. Yoshino, I'm so sorry. But I'm here on business with Lord Ryo. When our task is done, I have to leave again. Freed. Yoshino, just wait a little longer. This war will be over soon. I will not. What? What did you say? I said I won't wait any longer. Lord Ryo, please take me along with you. I'm pretty good with my Naginata, and I can do laundry too. I wish to fight alongside my Lord, Reed. Please take me with you. Let's fight together. Really? Oh, thank you so much! So yes, we got a new person recruited. Freed's wife, Yoshino, has joined our group. And she's just not any ordinary person who can just do, who just does laundry. She can actually fight in battle, too, in our party as well. So, yeah, she can wield a Naginata in battle. So a housewife who can actually fight. Best type of wife. No, I mean, of course it is your decision to make. I won't interfere. Freed, I don't want to be apart from you. I don't want to worry about you each day. Even if it's dangerous, I'd rather face the danger with you than be than to be alone. Yoshino, it is dangerous, but I promise that I promise you that I won't ever let anything happen to you. Freed. Well then, once I'm ready, I'll move our things to Dunan Castle. So yes, we got two people in this town too, but there's another person we can recruit. But he's located to the east of here, where Victor's Fortress burnt down. But for that, and since we're already at the top of the hour, I think we're going to be waiting on that until the next episode in a couple weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and take a rest at the end and save our progress right here. And and with that, I think it's time for me to plug since Metal went first last week. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I went ahead and saved our progress, and... Uh, so yeah, anyway guys, um, you can follow me at youtube.com slash reviews. That's where I work on my created content. Uh, and you can follow me here on Twitch. I have a page here on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash reviews. I use it as a secondary live streaming page, as I live stream between, I mean, uh, both here and on YouTube through Restream. So follow me at both those sources if you can. And in the meantime, if you want to follow me through social media, then follow me at facebook.com slash double RPG reviews and twitter.com slash double RPG reviews. And be on the lookout for more content that's not only coming from the Geek Fighters, but also from me in the future that you're not going to find anywhere else. And that's me. All right. I guess I'll go next. Follow me on Twitter at masterbluei0, YouTube master with blue of eyes. And of course, Follow us and our buddies over at Hero Club at hero-club.com and across social media at Hero Club for Life, especially on Twitch, since we stream there Wednesdays and sometimes Fridays. It's been a little less often on Fridays as of late, but we do definitely stream Wednesdays where we do our weekly kind of news roundup and discussion show, as well as, of course, occasionally, I guess, play... Uh, Get together, play games, and shoot the breeze on Fridays. Both of those start at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. So, check us out. All right. And last but not least, and most importantly, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash fighter counts. Uh, 4 p.m. Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesdays is Tekken. Fridays is Yakuza Kiwami 2. Un except for uh, after next Friday it'll be the last time I play it because I'm beating it and you guys can voice your opinion on what you want me to play next alright well as I said you'll we'll see more of this game in a couple weeks but join us next week because we return to Fightcade after our fourth episode of whatever we work on we return to Fightcade and continuing our uh, lineup of uh of Capcom fighting games. Our next game that we are playing is Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter.
So we'll get on the we'll be uh, working on that with getting some practice, and we definitely encourage you guys to go up against us as we don't just want to you know go up against ourselves uh, constantly whenever we do fight Cade because we do want to interact and have fun with our audience too. So if you got uh, fight Cade and if you got Marvel Superheroes versus Street Fighter or any of the games that we play, then be sure to uh, look us up whenever we go live for those games, and we will definitely you know. Uh, play against you we definitely want to have some fun with you guys but either way uh we but as before we hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next week and to sign off i'm double rpg master blue eyes fighter cows and fighter cows uh you can take it away with your uh tomb fame you just got two words left for us to end the stream and they are Peace out, everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye. See ya.